97.9 The Box is the Mad Hatter. Morning Show. This morning we're talking about Robert Glasper versus Lauryn Hill. We've been talking about it all morning long. Came on the Mad Hatter Morning Show and had some things to say about Lauryn Hill. For those that want to see the interview in its entirety, go to theboxhouston.com. The video of Robert talking about Lauryn Hill is up there. I know we've been playing clips, but she has now written a full story about this in Medium, the blog. It is called Addressing Robert Glasper and Other Misconceptions About Me in No Particular Order by Miss Lauren Hill. Now, saying all that, we will go ahead and continue the final part of her long diatribe, if you will. It's a little quee, Rob G says. And from that, Jung Jazz. Show me an artist working now who hasn't been directly influenced by the work I put in, mm. and I'll show you an artist who's been influenced by an artist who was directly influenced by the work that I put in. I was and continue to be a door opener, even if the blind don't see it and the prideful are too proud to admit it. I lived this. You watched this and heard about it. Mm. 97.9 The Box, feel free to not play my music <laughs> if you agree that I haven't, quote unquote, done enough. Stop right there for a moment. She tells us. Shook. She goes out of her way to say, excuse me, Oof. morning show, 97.9 The Box, folk. Don't play my music if you agree that I have not done enough. Don't know where that came from. Listen, ma'am, has she influenced other artists and other artists talk about the influence of Lauryn Hill? Mm -hmm. Is that yes or no? Yes. yes. She has been influential. Has she won Grammys? What has she won, Rob? She won a Grammy Award in 1999 for Album of the Year. Uh -huh. She won a Grammy Award in 1999 for Best Artist, mm -hmm. for Best R&B Song, mm -hmm. for Best R&B Album. Mm -hmm. She's won several MTV Music Okay, we get it. She won a lot of things. Jimbo, what you got? This is, this is the most world. truthful paragraph here because, I mean, she was the first hip-hop artist to be on the cover of Time Magazine in mm. 1999. Mm. There, she's credited for the conversion, actually, for the first cr true crossover hip-hop album with the Mrs. Education of uh, Lauryn Hill. Bringing hip hop to the mainstream, and Drake happens to sample him in, in her, his latest album. His latest so, ev so everybody, everybody, she's right. Everybody and Beyonce influenced. has performed X Factor live during her shows as well. I think just based on those facts alone, Miss Lauren Hill, I know you gave us the option <laughs> to play or not. I would just like to take this time and say, as I represent the Mad Hatter Morning Show and now trying to represent 97.9 on the box, that we feel that we should continue in our playing of your music. Due to these incredible facts, I go. Give me one. I'm gonna give you one more. In 2015, the album was deemed culturally historically significant by the Library of Congress. This is in the National Recording Registry. We cannot not not play this album. Based on just that fact alone, we will continue to play selections off the illustrious the Miseducation album. Saying all that, let's wrap this thing up. I take rehearsal seriously, I take performance seriously, I take my art seriously. My particular preparation process suits me. Me being late to shows isn't because I don't respect my fans or their time, but the contrary. Uh -oh. It can be argued that I care too much and I insist on things being right. I like to switch up my shows regularly, change arrangements, add new songs, etc. So this often leads to long sound checks, which leads to the doors opening late, which leads to the show getting a late start. This element of perfectionism is about wanting the audience to experience the very best and the most authentic musical experience they can from what I do. Okay, Lauren, this is the one place where I'm going to have to stop you. <laughs> <laughs> Just come earlier, bro. Three to four hours. Uh, all right, go ahead and finish, Jazz. I reject being pigeonholed or pinned down by someone else's uninformed concept of me. I'm my own person, free to explore my potential like everyone else. Where I'm in one chapter of my life isn't necessarily where I'll be in the next chapter. I reserve the right to be an honest artist in those moments and not a fabrication, fake, or phony version of myself because that's what someone else likes. I don't know anyone self-repression. Some fans will grow with me, some won't. That's okay. Life is to be lived. It's not a full-time performance you put on for others, so people won't have bad things to say about you in interviews. <laughs> Hip-hop was born through people who didn't necessarily have traditional musical training, the best tools, and in some cases, even instruments, but found a way to express themselves despite that. My art exists because it has a will to exist, like hip-hop. The album inspired many people from all walks of life because of its radical, intense will to live and to express love. I appreciate everyone who was a part of it in any and every capacity. It wouldn't have existed the way it did without the involvement, skill, hard work, and talents of the artists slash musicians and technicians who were a part of it. But it still required my vision, my passion, my faith, my will, my soul, my heart, and my story. And that's it, dog. That's it. <laughs> 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 Man. We only needed an hour to get through it, but we got through Sheesh. it. We will post this on the Box website so you all can do your own perusal. <laughs> there was one or two paragraphs we left out. 
for brevity of time. Read it uh, at your own leisure. It is a good read. Again, this is her rebuttal to all the comments that Robert Glasper made on the Mad Hatter Morning Show. Feel free to discuss amongst yourselves. Our discussion here is done.